Hi guys, welcome to the structure and function of synapses part one video. So in terms of the specification, we will be looking at the structure of the synapse. The neuromuscular junction was done in the video uh, on muscles. So if you would like to recap on this, visit those videos. And we will be looking at the transmission across the uh, synapse. So uh, this is how the action potential will travel from a uh, post uh, from presynaptic neuron membrane through the synapse to the postsynaptic neuron membrane and in terms of the function of the synapses is to obviously transmit information between neurons pass impulses only in one direction act as a junctions filter out any low level stimuli allow adaptation to intense stimulation so prevents overstimulation and synapses and impulses so single impulse create a number of uh, responses and the number of impulses combined at the synapse allow the stimuli from different receptors to interact in order to produce a single response so this is a structure of the synapse so we've got a, a pre-synaptic membrane here we've got uh, calcium ion channels we've got smooth endoplasmic reticulum we've got mitochondria we've got vesicles where the neurotransmitter uh, like acetylcholine will be stored then we've got the uh, sodium ion channels which will accept neurotransmitters so a non neurotransmitter will bind to the receptor sites on the sodium ion channels. So, a few things here presynaptic neuron membrane releases neurotransmitters, synaptic knob, it's a swollen portion end of the presynaptic neuron, so here, which contains many mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum, synaptic vesicles, they store neurotransmitters, separation between the neurons, it's called a synaptic cleft, and the release of neurotransmitters from the uh, vesicles allow them to diffuse to the postsynaptic neuron membrane where they will be accepted by the uh, receptor sites on the uh, sodium ion channels. So, in terms of the uh, mitochondria, mitochondria provides ATP, which could be used to make the neurotransmitters, transport the vesicles, or drive the membrane pumps, uh, so provide the energy for active transport. Then we're looking at the calcium ions, so just here, so calcium ion channels are in the presynaptic neuron membrane, and they only open when the presynaptic membrane has become depolarized. Okay, so remember how to write the ions, and if there is no depolarization, they will stay shut. Okay, so what that means, if they stay shut, that means that sodium ions later on cannot get through. Okay, so in terms of the, the sodium ion channel proteins, they are found in the postsynaptic membrane. So here. The sodium ion channel only open when neurotransmitter binds to them. Okay, so uh, if there is not neurotransmitters, they stay shut and not sodium ions can get through. So, we, in fact, we've got two types of the synapses, excretory uh, synapse and inhibitory synapse. So, excretory synapse is the synapse that's going to open and allow the sodium ion channels to pass through leads to depolarization for inhibitory synapse it's the one that's going to send completely different neurotransmitter which going to bind to chloride ion channels at the end we are going to deal with hyperpolarization which needs to be overcome by the further addition of the sodium ions so um to summarize the types of the synapses, one more time, transmitters that open sodium ion channels will excite the postsynaptic neuron membrane. Transmitters that open chloride ion channels will inhibit the postsynaptic neuron membrane. And transmitters that open potassium ion channels will inhibit the postsynaptic neuron membrane as well. So the only ones that transmitters, neurotransmitters that open the sodium ion channels are the one that will uh, 
that will cause the uh, passage of the action potential from the presynaptic neuron to the postsynaptic neuron membrane. So in our next video, we will be looking at the uh, examples of those synapses and uh, the uh, passage across those. Right? See you later.